We all know he is the biggest rapper slash pop star of all time. What people don't know is how he got there. Short answer, me. I am Agnes Middleton, and I am Drake's cultural appropriation manager. The gift and the curse with making Drake was that he was half black, half Jewish. That's bad credit and good credit. It don't match. How could we make him appeal to both sides? How could we make him cool to the guys with the beanies and the cat rocking the yarmulke? I mean, we took him from the naked face. People thought he looked like a baby deer in the face with no facial hair. Then we went to the low-cut fade, tried him out with some longer hair, and then we stumbled across the beard. Then we went full-blown beard and the low-cut fade. Then we started showing vintage footage of him as a kid at a bat mitzvah. But we also had him in Memphis with Project Pat in a video. We had him at a table with an old man's sweater. And then we put him in some batting gloves in all black. We crossed all I's and dotted all T's. But that was the easy surface stuff. We knew if we were going to make Drake a mega star, we were gonna have to get the culture behind him. So I started to test different accents that would appeal to different demographics. Jamaican was huge. Listen, man, the awards are tomorrow night, and if you don't have it by now, you are never going to have it. Chun. Chun. I'm what Chun. It's your career on the line. It's not mine. Uh, more life is coming soon and more tune for your head top, so watch how you speak on my name, you know? We went full-fledged Jamaican. Next, we had to align Drake with the artist on the come-up. We had to find the guys with the hot sound and quickly attach him to it. First, it started with the Migos. Whew. At the time, they were just some local rappers out of Atlanta. I heard the song buzzing and I knew I had to attach him to it. I did this with a lot of artists. Okay, Drake. There are these guys called the Migos. They've got a hot song called Versace. They're young and hip. You see a picture of them and you will smell weed. <sighs> Study the cadence. Make the song your own. Drake, there is a guy named I Love Mackinan. He's got a song about going up on a Tuesday. He's chubby and adorable. This will make you more relatable. Write a verse, get on the song. Drake, we need you to collab with Future. He sips tons of lean, he's got tons of kids, but he's really hot right now. Kind of brushed him off at first, but do not only a song and an album, you're also gonna go on tour with him. We even mapped out his beefs accordingly. Every rapper in the game wanted a piece of Drake. He would go back and forth with, say, a Joe Budden here and there, but we made sure to draw the line so he wouldn't get too much in the weeds with Kendrick. Meek Mill was a good target because he was with Nicki at the time and things wouldn't go too far left. I must say, however, we did miscalculate with this push a T beef. That's where we had Drake getting exposed. He came out swinging and then push a T just started swinging without the gloves on. Now you got Drake out here looking like an absent father, and I get that that makes him relatable as a black man. Wait, what did you just say? That totally came out the wrong way. I'm just saying that my research told me that black men, fathers... Can we cut for a second? Uh, more life is coming soon, and more tune for your head top, so watch how you speak on my name, you know? So that's basically where we fall with Drake. I do the research that has him likable on all fronts, embracing all of his roots and borrowing just enough from the culture to not come across like we are stealing from it. Hello? Wait, what? Wave caps are testing in the 18 to 34 demo again? You are going to try to design the Yamaka wave cap? Absolutely, I'm in. <laughs> I'm gonna have to take this. Money calls for the Six God. Thanks for your time. Yes, and let's roll out the new Dominican accent at the same time.